Attention duped masses! You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. You're still listening to The Morning Monarchy. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. Tuesday is Tech Tuesday, and we get into cyberspace war news, and we've got a slew about FriendFace. Again, as I'm making the case for you, it's fairly easy to do, and I'm not a lawyer, that they are far more powerful than anything America's next top president will do to you. Facebook officially took the wraps off its new Craigslist and eBay competitor called Marketplace on Monday, and people are already using it to brazenly sell things that violate Facebook's policies like drugs, animals, and adult services. For example, we've seen listings in Marketplace, and again, this is just the last 36 hours. Snakes, baby hedgehogs, fish, a farmhand, a scantily clad couple posing suggestively. Facebook spokesperson declined to comment to Business Insider beyond pointing to the company's commerce policy, which of course expressly prohibits selling these kinds of items and services. To police what is sold, the spokesperson did say that Facebook will rely on its employees proactively looking for offensive posts in Marketplace, along with users reporting they think should be removed. Facebook's been testing Marketplace with a small percentage of its users being used for months, but now the feature is replacing the Messenger shortcut in the bottom center of Facebook's app for everybody over the age of 18 in the U.S., U.K., Australia, and New Zealand. Ooh, there's an update to the story. Facebook Director of Product Management Mary Koo later told Business Insider that a technical issue caused these listings to get past its review process. She said the company is working to fix the problem and closely monitoring our systems to ensure we are properly identifying and removing violations before giving people more access to Marketplace. Somebody listed a snake that's just beautiful for $300. They said that one's been taken down. Here's an odd picture of a girl in a bra sitting on a bed taking a selfie, and then someone's hand. There's also creepy clowns, which I did just see reports at PDX Alerts, one of the most amazing Twitter accounts to follow the decline of hashtag peak Portland at PDX Alerts. Late last night, you guys, in Vancouver, Washington. That's just over the river. Vancouver, Washington is kind of considered a suburb of Portland. Creepy clowns were spotted at the Chick-fil-A at the Vancouver, Washington location. And most of the replies said, Shit, there's a Chick-fil-A in Vancouver? There's your creepy clown update. So, Facebook Marketplace has launched, and people are using it to brazenly defy all the things Facebook doesn't want you to do. Let's maybe think about this from a positive standpoint, let's 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 try and put on our rose rose colored glasses for a moment. Now, I, I was I, I wasn't intentionally being funny when I said they want it to be the Craigslist killer. Craigslist killer is already a thing, and that's a serial killer who found their victims on Craigslist. Why do I say this might be a good thing if it comes to Facebook? Because it's another example of a, a, a relatively specific product that wants to slowly build and grow and do every single thing for you. There have been channels that we used to watch on TV, other shows, other services, that used to do one really good thing, and that's why we liked it. Then they kept growing. They kept getting bigger. They kept adding more people to their board of directors. They kept having to meet more demands. They kept having to meet the bottom line and the IPOs as they collect up your IPs. They're going to get so big. They're going to get so large. Obviously, this marketplace is going to be a complete disaster. Yes, thanks, Swag. That's always my example. I used to love a channel called American Movie Classics. You used to maybe like a channel called The Learning Channel. It's AMC and TLC, and it's all a bunch of reality bullshit shows now. That's kind of the comparison I'm making to Facebook. Unfortunately, Facebook has 1.7 billion users, and they love it. And they want it to be their daddy. And they would love it to be their president. I'm speculating that unleashing this marketplace is something they're never going to be able to keep tabs on. And that hopefully, hopefully, the people that still use... Friend face will turn Marketplace into a Silk Road like we haven't seen. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, 
Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.